Hey everyone, Matt here from Doctors Running, and today we're gonna to do a sub two talking about why you might wanna consider using either carbon fiber super shoes or lighter weight trainers slash non-plated racing shoes for workouts, races, and what might help guide you in the decision. So we're seeing a lot of really cool shoes coming out. So you've got your super shoes, i.e. like the A6 Metaspeed Sky, and then you've got some really lightweight shoes coming out like the A6 Evil Ride, which are not carbon plated, not super foam, but they're certainly really light. So this shoe is coming in at 7.4 ounces. So it's extremely light, little firmer sole, so it feels really snappy, feels really good going up tempo and doing workouts in them. But the biggest question people ask is, okay, why, why would I choose something like this versus, you know, you got this super shoe? Well, first of all, obviously cost, but these aren't that different outside of the foams and the plates, right? So obviously feel different underfoot, but spec wise, right? 7.4 ounces, seven ounces, both have a five millimeter drop, somewhat similar in terms of geometry, a little more aggressive here. So again, really rocker right in the, in the forefoot, right? So aggressive toe spring. And you know, both feel really good going fast. For me personally, what I found is I don't always enjoy doing every run or workout in a super soft carbon plated shoe. These are very stiff, they're very aggressive, and yeah, they feel really fun to run and race in. I'm always gonna choose this shoe for racing, but when it comes to workouts, I don't always want that. And these shoes are very aggressive. You, If you're gonna race in them, you do need to do some workouts in them. You gotta get your body used to this, right? We don't have any evidence on whether they cause injuries, but like anything, if your body's not ready for something and you jump into it, that, might predispose you to some injury risks. Whereas here, these shoes are less aggressive, but still really fast. So it's lightweight. I've been doing some workouts in the Evil Ride 3. They've been really fun to do sh workouts in, but it's let a little more of my body do the work. And it's allowed me to get back into things like workouts, getting my feet under me. And sometimes some people aren't gonna like this stuff. It's perfectly okay to do races and workouts in this stuff because it's still fast and you gotta find what works for you.